Good morning, John. I love you. <sighs> okay, moving on. We are now the 81st most subscribed channel on YouTube, and I mention this only because 81st is a very important number. It marks as high as we will go in the charts. We are about to be made 82nd by the most amazing Toby Turner. I get really excited when people that I like a lot start patching us in the subscription charts, and after you watch his literal Harry Potter trailer, you will know that he deserves 81st more than we do. TRANSITION! Catherine's family is still in town and we are having a whirlwind of epic family adventures. We only get to see them about once a year, so it's important to pack in the love. So let's look at some of that. We went to Greeno Park, which Catherine and I used to live right across from, and I really love the place, and I like to throw rocks, and Catherine <laughs> likes to build stuff out of rocks. So it's good to know that at least in some ways she has the female instincts of let's build things together and I have the male instincts of that's the rocks! And Jesse, my nephew, saw his very first real live deer here in Greeno Park and I was very excited and he was very excited and he wanted to go hug it and I told him that when people approach wild animals, oftentimes they get attacked and hurt very seriously and it turned out that this was a little bit too much information for him to handle, but it's true! And then we went to see Jesse's very first baseball game. It was a, a lot of firsts for him. I think it's really important that whenever you're having new experiences, you start out with kind of a subpar experience. Otherwise, you don't really have anywhere to go from there. Like, your first apartment should be a hole in the wall and the toilet should be right next to the bed with no wall or door between you. That's how you should start. So that every time you get a new apartment and there's, there's a door between your bed and the toilet, like, that feels like a significant upgrade in your life. And, it, and those upgrades make you really happy. Which is why I think it is important for Jesse's first baseball game to be the Missoula Osprey, who happened to be the worst team in the minorest of the minor leagues. Time to rally? Time to rally. Time to rally. We didn't rally. I go for the peanuts, to be totally honest. Then Jesse had to go, which is sad, but also kind of a relief because he's a little bit high maintenance. Does that make me sound like a Decepticon for saying that? Oh well. It did mean that Catherine's parents and I could go on more longer excursions out of town, which we did to the National Shoot. Bison Range! Hey Catherine. Yeah? What did the buffalo say to his son when he went off to college? I don't know. What did he say? Bison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Huh? I walked up to this huge pile of antlers, which had been collected over the years, and then stuffed down onto a pole so that it looked as if there was a huge pile of antlers, and then I hit my head on it. Ow! I hit my head on it. And there were grasshoppers everywhere, like plague level. Every time you'd move, they would explode from the ground. And then I found out some amazing information about bison, who look docile and slow and peaceful, but can run as fast as a horse and are extremely aggressive. This videotape is owned by the US government, so I can show it to you and I don't have to worry about copyright problems. The guy was fine, but the point is clear. Never approach wildlife. And though at the National Bison Range, we saw a bighorn sheep and pronghorn antelope and a baby mule deer and a lot more than that, we didn't get up close to very many bison except for this dead stuffed one at the visitor's center. But the dead stuffed bison was pretty impressive, very beautiful, and really a very amazing animal that we almost drove into extinction due to our ignorance and- Oh, nobody wants to see that. Then we went to a restaurant outside of the National Bison Range where they serve bison burgers, which I feel like is kind of weird. Like, you, you gotta taste the thing that you just enjoyed looking at. I don't understand exactly why I think that's weird. Like, the animals aren't coming from the bison range. They're like half cow, half bison, and they're on ranges, and they can't be wild anyways. And I just realized that my wallet is made out of bison leather, so I'm going to shut up now. And that's all. I'll see you on Friday.